He's been released from Elmley Jail in Kent after serving just seven months of an 18-month sentence, but he'll have to wear an electronic tag for the next two months. His next move is expected to be back to college in Oxford to study theology. Stephen Lawrence's father, Neville, has filed a complaint against the Metropolitan Police. It comes after he was pulled over in relation to an allegation of robbery. Mr. Lawrence was in a car with at least one other person when he was stopped by police at the end of last year. A rethink is underway at the Millennium Dome tonight after severe criticism. Bodice bosses are planning changes after a week after it opened. Even still, they insist that it's just teething problems and both visitors and sponsors are happy. Well, we're certainly not going to move the body. This is, this is a structure which is the size of a five-storey building and it's going to stay where it is. But there are different ways of organising queues and organising exhibits within it and next to it. And we can certainly do that. And that's what I would, I would consider to be fine-tuning that any business would do once it had got a bit of real-life experience under its belt. A British diver has been found alive on a remote island more than 40 hours after he went missing at sea. Paul Lucas was swept away by strong currents during a scuba diving trip off the Australian coast. His family say they're delighted and very relieved he's safe. It's a, it was such a well, when the run last night at nine o'clock, just a joy for joy, weren't we? And all the family were here, had great support. The most famous address in England, 10 Downing Street, could soon be the home of a nanny. The Chancellor Gordon Brown, who currently lives in the flat there, has offered to move out to give the Blairs more space when Cherie gives birth to her fourth child in May. Bad news tonight for Michael Jackson fans. He's announced that he may be about to quit the music business. The reclusive singers told an American music magazine that he wants to stop touring and that he wants to explore new areas after his next album. But cynics say it's just a publicity stunt to coincide with the launch of a new CD. Let's take a quick look at the weather now. Wet and windy across most of the...